today is the Friday before Columbus Day weekend, mm -hmm. as we were talking about, and there's a lot of fun fall events happening in our area. Now, one of the biggest traditions for October in Rhode Island is Roger Williams Park Zoo's Jack o Lantern Spectacular. As we mentioned, Brendan's there live for a look at the display. How was your ride on the golf cart, Brendan? Well, as you guys just said, I finally got that driver that I always wanted. So <laughs> she was able to get me back into position here for our first segment. This really is uh, appropriately titled Spectacular. It's hard to believe it's that time again. The Roger Williams Park Zoo Zach, uh, Zach -a lantern <laughs> Jack -a lantern Spectacular is back, and we are here with Stacy Johnson, Executive Director of the Zoo. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brendan. How's it going? I am well. It's always nice to welcome you back to the road, too, and it's great to be down here where you guys are this year the spectacular celebrating 75 years of television i love this theme oh it's a it's a blast and we're really excited to present it this year so it's, it's difficult for me to even think about 75 years of television because it's just been you know my whole life and you know as i look as i look back over my shoulder at the sort of the mock-up that says the history of television i remember having a tv like that <laughs> In black and white, right? So 5,000 pumpkins celebrating, you know, from the literally from the 40s all the way through today to the streaming shows that we've got. It's it's amazing. It is awesome, and we got the road show represented right here, and so many uh, ornate pumpkins ready to go to you know welcome everybody here to have some fun. Let's talk tickets, hours, what everybody needs to know, because we've got to get our tickets ahead of time, right? Right. We need we need everybody to purchase their tickets online. They go to rwpzoo.org, uh, and and that way, what it does is it it it, it PACES THE EVENING, SO YOU'RE NOT WAITING THREE HOURS IN LINE. Right. And, AND SO we're, WE'RE STICKING WITH THAT, AND WE'RE REALLY TRYING TO GET PEOPLE TO DO IT THAT WAY. Um, WE'RE OPEN ALL THE WAY THROUGH OCTOBER, EVERY NIGHT, 5.30, 5.30 ONWARD, SO, YOU KNOW, BRING THE FAMILY, COME ON OUT AND HAVE A BLAST. LOVE IT. And PEOPLE ARE SEEING VIDEO RIGHT NOW ON THE SHOW. AND FOR YOU, BEING A PART OF THIS uh, EVENT, SEEING IT ALL COME TOGETHER, WHAT DOES IT MEAN TO YOU? It's, it's, it's the beginning of the holiday season for us, right? The zoo is open year-round, but this is sort of the high point of the year. We, everybody on our team is looking forward to jack o lantern Spectacular every year. This is, this is sort of our New Year's celebration, right? This is, this is the launch of everything for the whole until next summer. It, yeah, well, <laughs> but don't get ahead of us because we, got, we want to enjoy this moment because really the team works year-round getting this thing together. I mean, we've been a part of this. We've been working with the zoo proudly for so many years now, yeah. Stacy, and to see it all come together, to see that work happening month after month, day after day, year after year yeah. is astonishing. This is the 31st year. Right, I'm, I haven't been here quite a year yet. I'm absolutely the rookie, so I'm just staying out of the way while they're doing all the work. That's a good uh, member of the team right there, because you want to let the experts do their thing. Bingo, that's exactly right. You know, and we want, we want to thank Passion for Pumpkins and Citizens Bank and all of our sponsors. They're the ones who support it and make it happen. We're going to be speaking with John a little later and some folks from Citizens really to talk about their involvement once again. But just really the community aspect of this. Like you said, it's kind of a kickoff unofficially to the end of the year, the holiday season. Seeing the kids light up, the families come together for this is also fantastic. That's exactly right. I was here last night and, and watching, the, watching the folks come through. It's a, it's, it was a school night, so we didn't see a lot of school age kids. We saw tons of moms and dads with kids in strollers, and, the, and they were just they were giddy. Outstanding. And remind everyone one more time, hours, days of operation, everything we need to know. Sure. We're, we start at 530 in the evening, and we're open every single day. And rwpzoo.org is where you go to get your tickets. Get those tickets ahead of time. I like to think of myself as a VIP, a, a very important pumpkin. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I'll go along with that. And, and I've heard rumors that that may be literally true. It actually is. Hard to believe. <laughs> Good to see you, Stacy. You too, Brendan. Thanks. Always a pleasure to be here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. As the morning rolls on, guys, here we're going to be here. Hey, I'm over here getting the scoop on what's happening. 75 years of TV, the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular, What's Not to Love. Back to you. Time now to go back on the road this fall, brought to you by Washington Trust. As we kick off the long holiday weekend in October, we want to check back in with Brendan at Roger Williams Park Zoo for the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular. Brendan, you out there carving pumpkins? <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, Will. I'm going to leave that to the experts, and that's uh, one of our guests that we have right here right now. Now, we showed you in the tease as we were heading to break the most beautiful pumpkin you've ever seen. Look at this, capturing the essence, if you will, of uh, Mr. Gilbert, Michaela, and, of course, yours truly right there. Wow, that my hair is absolutely perfect, but that's not why we're here. We have John Reckner and John Conway with us to talk a little bit more about how this thing came together. First of all, John, we were joking before we went on. We've been doing these segments for so many years now. It's great to be be back, isn't it? Oh, it's great to have you back, Brandon. Let's talk about how you decided upon 75 years of television and really what you guys are capturing here. You've done an awesome job as always. Yeah, well, thank you. Every year, of course, Brandon, we try to come up with a different theme, and that's the challenge. 
we have never done the 75 anniversary of television. And for me, it's a lot of nostalgia. I'm an old geezer from this particular <laughs> era right here in the 50s, so the Honeymooners and Lucy and so on. But there was a lot of fun about doing this is television evolved and we got National Geographic and HBO. It gave us a lot of flexibility so it's not all just portraits. We have animals and so be it. And uh, um, so we're really excited about this year. And for you, John, when it's all done, stepping back and just taking a look, you know, with wonder and awe, really, at what you and the team have created must give you still just such a great sense of satisfaction. Oh, it's a tremendous. Uh, I think what got us here was the Library of Congress Award back in 2000. And, uh, that brought us into Providence, and so it's been a great marriage ever since. And from one John to another, John uh, Conway, let's talk about the carving process, how this really works. Each pumpkin, really, a lot of uh, time and care goes into each one, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're about 8 to 12 hours for, per pumpkin, you know. So we start with uh, choosing our image, and then we have to make sure that we fit it properly on the pumpkin. And then, um, you know, we spend hours and hours drawing, and then onto the carved gut and presentation. Which is outstanding. Now talk a little bit about, because I was asking you, it's going to be in the 70s today, so maintaining, it becomes more of a challenge, doesn't it, when those temperatures rise? Oh yeah, because the warmth moves in and then, you know, then the mold comes. And then... The only thing in the zoo rotting today will be my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But really, for the team to come together and really make this happen and to maintain them, it's an around-the-clock job, isn't it? Absolutely. We call it running the gauntlet, you know, because when things happen, it's just, it's go time. It's a production. It is. And last year was unseasonably warm for the entire season, so you kind of had some preparation. You're ready. You know what to do today. Absolutely. Last year, we learned a lot. <laughs> sure did. Well, gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, thank you for joining thank us. Brandon. And have another great season, all right? For sure. Thanks, Brandon. It wouldn't be the fall if we weren't here with the two Johns, of course. Jack-o'-lantern spectacular. It's all happening at Roger Williams Park Zoo. Again, let's just gaze upon it, shall we, as we toss things back to the studio. Guys, it, it really is perfect. Back to you. All right, let's go back on the road this fall, brought to you by Washington Trust. Friday in October means the sights and sounds of spooky thrills are all around. And if you're looking for something fun to do with the kids tonight, or your loved ones, or friends, or really any other night this month, you can't miss the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular over at Roger Williams Park. Sue Brendan's been there live all morning. You know what, Brendan? We might just leave you there. Well, Michaela, I thought for, I wouldn't mind. It's really great here. For for a minute there, I thought you you were going to say if you if you're looking for something spooky, here's Brendan, right? <laughs> but we are having so much fun here at Roger Williams Park Zoo, getting the scoop on this year's edition of the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular, celebrating 75 years of one of my favorite topics: television, broadcasting, entertainment, all that great stuff. And joining us right now is Michelle Hecht from Citizens to talk more about their involvement. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So so much for having me it, today. It's a pleasure to have you joining us. Uh, let's talk about why it's so important for you, for citizens really, to support these types of endeavors. I know that community is a major component of your mission. It really is. It's a part of who we are as a company. And we've been a longstanding supporter, both of the Roger Williams Zoo, but also here, the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular. You know, I personally have been coming here for as long as I can remember. And uh, this part we're standing in is absolutely my favorite part of the whole trail. Well, you were saying that before we went on. We were discussing, you know, what we were going to talk about. And you alluded to the fact that you love this area right here. What is it about it? Is it like the ornate work of the pumpkins? Is it the fact that they seem to be mocking us? What is it, Michelle, that you love about this area? Area. Well, I will say it is all of the above, Brendan. <laughs> I love the diversity of the pumpkins, the varied expressions that they have, of course, the amazing talent uh, of the carvings themselves. And then when you go through at night, it comes to life with music, with lights, with sound. It is just an absolutely uh, amazing experience. It really is. And of course, the fact that you at Citizens are supporting this, you know, you mentioned the fact that you've done so year after year. It's so important for you to do that. How much pride do you have as a team to know that, hey, we're helping to make that happen? Oh, so much pride. Um, Citizens has been a, a title sponsor of this for the past 12 years, um, and we love to support our communities. We think this is a great event. Uh, you can come here with all generations, right? Children love it. 
parents love it. Grandparents love it. Um, it is just a great day, and it is a great to be a part of that. It really is. And we were talking with Stacy earlier. It really is kind of a kickoff, if you will, unofficially to kind of the end of the year. You know, we're in the middle of fall. The holidays are right behind. But for you, does it signify, okay, it's fall again? What does the spectacular mean to you? Just fun? <laughs> yeah, you know, the jack o' lantern spectacular to me is iconic Rhode Island fall. Um, it is just a terrific experience. I can't say it enough. I encourage everybody to come and check it out. And how about this theme? 75 years of TV. They did pretty well with that. I know. They did amazingly well. I was counting how many shows I've seen over the years, and almost all of them. Almost all of them. Well, I will tell you selfishly, I saw the Larry David pumpkin, and that's my favorite one. Everyone who watches the Roadshow knows how much I love Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Do you have a favorite TV show of all time? Is it a bunch of different ones? Because I always love getting people's opinions on this. You know, it's a bunch of different ones. I mean, I really found um, the, the pumpkin about the Care Bears and the children's shows quite interesting. I'm a mom of four kids, so okay. that one certainly appeared. <laughs> to me but even as I went through seeing some of the game shows and some of the National Geographic I mean really something for everyone here this year it really is and like I said they've done such an awesome job and it doesn't happen without you so Michelle thank you for to you and the team at Citizens for all you do in making this thing happen oh our pleasure we are so happy to be here and happy to support the citizens of Rhode Island it's great to have you on the road thank show you so if much. you guys would like to check out the jack-o-lantern spectacular right here at Roger Williams Park Zoo they have done once again just an incredible job and you will not want to miss this. It's happening now. Reminder, you have to get your tickets online, so get them now, make your plans, and come check it out.